We're here today in Windsor to talk about a $4.8 billion uh, funding shortfall in the province of Ontario for acute care hospitals, including the Windsor and area hospitals. And that translates into a gap uh, for Windsor uh, behind the rest of the country of about $75 million here. And what that means, practically speaking, is that uh, there's a shortage here at the hospitals of about 234 nurses and about 690 or so uh, other staff like respiratory therapists and cleaners and uh, clerical staff, people who do admitting, etc. Um, and uh, this gap has grown uh, worse over the last several years. In the last year, uh, the hospitals here received about a 1% increase, but in fact their operating costs went up over 4%, so their budgets are being cut in real terms. And uh, as a result of that, we've got the fewest number of acute care hospital beds in the country. We have the fewest staff for those beds, the shortest lengths of stay, the highest rate of hospital acquired infections, and we're calling on the, on the Ontario government uh, to stop uh, cutting the budgets, to give the Windsor hospitals at least uh, the kind of adjustment to their inflationary, uh, to, to their budgets as, as would reflect the rate of inflation and the pressures coming from an aging population and increased utilization for the hospital. And I guess we'd also be calling on the province to really reconsider its decision to, uh, uh, to encourage a um, a private-public partnership for the construction of the Windsor Hospital here because that will inevitably result to a hospital that's much, much smaller than the current capacities of the, of the current hospitals with many fewer staff.